Hi hey everyone, I want to share um, on yeah, insulin and the linkages to hair loss. So just to get cut to the chase, I can go longer and I was thinking, you know, forget it. Let me just get to the chase. This applies to people who have high testosterone. You already know that high testosterone causes DHT issues, which basically for both men and women, okay, so men can also have extra testosterone uh, within their system. So that causes um, a DHT uh, increase in the, in, uh, on the scalp, which plucks off the hair um, follicle. So that is male pattern baldness due to hormone issues, but it's also due to insulin issues. And I didn't really, I was having a hard time articulating what was going on with me because I didn't realize the connection until I started doing the research because I myself was noticing that as I changed my diet and was consistent longer term with insulin balancing uh, diet, um, my hair just started not, it wasn't falling as much and the quality improved. And um, so then I was like, something is going on with the insulin again. Let me research this. And I found out, wait a second, when there's also insulin resistance or insulin issue in your system, meaning like, again, don't spike your insulin, please eat an insulin balancing diet. If you have any questions about that, let me know. I may upload on that separately, but I just want to get this information out there because it's important to know. So now if you have high testosterone, and again, I should also again preface this. If you have been tested for thyroid and, you know, and for um, iron deficiency, B12 levels and vitamin D, and those are all clear and good, and it's really just about your insulin and or your testosterone, then you know you know exactly what to do, but make sure you're tested to know what underlying other issues could be going on when it comes to your hair loss. But specifically for this, again, for um, androgen reducing things, you can do spearmint tea, um, NAC, uh, omega-3 exercise, again, um, you know, uh, trying to reduce the testosterone within your system. Some of you may need Vitex or Sopimento. Again, that all depends on what's going on with your system. And then the other side is insulin reducing. You have to change your diet to be insulin friendly. And um, if for those of you who are not sure, just go insulin friendly. You can't go wrong um, in this situation, especially for long-term health. So I always start people off by first quitting the fruits. For sure, the sugar, that's common sense. But for sure, the fruits, um, only berries, and then I start people off on, um, if they haven't been eating gluten-free, first jumping on gluten-free, and then slowly weeding them off of that to eventually go into a more low-carb, kind of a higher-fat, higher-protein uh, diet to balance the insulin. Now, again, depends on your lifestyle. Some of you may have are fine with higher carbohydrates if you are exercising a lot and you don't have insulin resistant, um, but maybe you have some insulin issues occurring that may be causing the scalp male pattern, pattern baldness. Um, it's again, every person is going to be unique in how this is going to be approached. So, but it's good to know from a PCOS perspective that testosterone and insulin, like for me, it was a double whammy. It was double the issue because I had the high testosterone and I had insulin, I have insulin resistance and I'm, you know, managing. So I can tell you just from experience, things have really improved once I've kind of joined those two together. If I was just focusing on the testosterone part, which was early on because my menstruation was irregular and all that stuff, and I wasn't really focusing on the insulin part, that's why I was still having the hair loss to the same, you know, to a higher level. Now that I've married the two, because I am, again, everyone's condition is going to be different. So for me, I had both issues. Um, it's been phenomenal in the change. So, um, of course, supplementation and all that stuff. Any questions or comments about that, let me know. I just want to keep this short and basic because I know people just want the information. The lower links that are relevant, and I'm sure you can find more information around this. Do your research on insulin, but all I can say is at the end of the day, this is pretty important. Very important is your diet. And in terms of the scalp health, the DHT production, major part to it too. So follow the insulin, as I've said before in other videos. Of course, and also the hormone, but I'm not ignoring the hormone imbalance. I just want to say that as well. Okay. Any questions or comments, let me know. Take care.